What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Snow in the top left hand corner versus Tengu over here in the top right. And I've been told this is an extremely good, long, PVT, epic game. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's so often that we see Terran players just get absolutely shredded by Snow in the early game. So I'm looking forward to seeing how Tengu makes his way out of that early game through the reverse stage and the harassment phase and makes his way into the later parts of this game. I mean, it's such a challenge really to just survive against this man. And so few players can do it, but I guess Tengu, the up and coming Terran player, is gonna show us how it's done here. Very much interested in seeing how he plays this one out. I'm not really rating Tengu too high right now in my in terms of like my uh, power scale for who's the best at Terran right now. I don't think that Tengu is really uh, that high up there, but he is a very good ladder player. Uh, he plays almost more than anybody else. The number of replays is insane. How often he's actually getting out there on the ladder, um, which is pretty typical of Terran. But he's just putting out huge, huge amounts of games, which means he's seen basically everything. And they're both here on their regular accounts, so he knows this is Snow, and Snow knows it's a t this is Tengu. This is this is a pretty special match here. We, it's very rare that we see both players on their main IDs, but Snow is one of those players who basically always plays on his main. Uh, he plays all the time on stream, so why not play on your main? There's no point in being on a barcode if you're going to be streaming anyway. But... Looks like... Oh, wait a second. Did he... Think that... Tengu went a different direction? What happened here? Um, maybe he didn't see the SCV? Coming in that direction? Oh, that's crazy. Because he just saw the SCV in his main base, and then he turned his probe, which was like a second away from scouting Tengu here. So Snow is actually going to get the last scout, when he should have gotten the first scout. This is crazy. A big mistake here in the early game. Uh, coming from Snow. He's even sending out a second... Oh no, this is a, a Zealot. He's sending it down to the bottom left. He really thinks he's down the bottom left. Uh, unfortunately, he is completely misguided here. Not going to find his opponent for a very long time. Look, he goes all the way in and sees that, oh, wow, you really were up in the top right-hand corner. That's crazy. The Zealot is super late to the party here. He has to walk all the way across the map, and Snow's going to miss out on quite a bit of this early game. You know, usually we see... I I'm kind of understanding how this game is shaping up now, because usually we see the probe do a bunch of you know harassment on the scvs and kind of slow things down a little bit and then the zealot comes in and it kind of harasses at the bunker maybe runs by or whatever um just just makes things a little bit hard but tangus got kind of a, a goldilocks a su sweetheart of a game here sweetheart deal of a game where he's miss he he's completely unscouted until the very latest possible ever scout like this is one of the biggest maps we have, and Snow didn't only did not only scout him last, but he scouted him first and then didn't see him, and then scouted him last. <laughs> it's crazy how long it takes to actually get a unit over there. Um, but he does poke in. He sees this the CC. How can Tengu leverage this early game after you know, getting this lucky? Uh, against Snow in the first five minutes of the game. Can he continue to uh, maintain that luck? Or will he get pulled apart by the Reaver? Will he get put into a bad position? We know this is going to go pretty late. But how late will it actually be? Robotic support pay, of course, on the way here. Reaver is going to be coming up soon. The only tool that Snow needs to win games against Terran. Just that Reaver play. Dragoon just checking out the front here. Looks like he's halting production on his gateway. Just staying at two goons while he gets his uh, Reaver out here as quickly as possible. 
I believe he he might have skipped uh, range with this build. I think he did. Going rangeless with the Graviton boosters. So he's going to be blasting across this map here in a moment. But he won't have the added uh, utility of ranged dragoons. He'll just have to deal with whatever comes out of Tengu with pure rangeless. Which right now is a vulture setting up mines everywhere. Looking for opportunities to maybe run by. However, I mean, I think that's still a gap. And one more pylon in that wall and then it won't be any more. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to see Tengu come in here. Okay, maybe he goes for the one probe. No, nope. not going to be able to get that either. And we will be blocking up this gap. Here comes that shuttle. So here we go. All right. The first shuttle, this is where things start to heat up here. Let's see what Snow can do with this. Are we going to see this get completely shut down? It's very, very rare that Terran player ever manages to kill off the early shuttle of Snow, but crazier things have happened. Here we go into the main. Gonna take that first shot off. Oh, that was a big hit. Another massive hit here. Oh my God. This is just typical Snow, man. He's in there. He deals the damage. Now he's going to fly around, force some sieges, drops the Zealot, baits the tank, picks up the Reaver again, gets the shot off. One more hit. Boom. Gets another tank. One more shot with the Reaver before the tank sieges. No problem. Going to dodge with the uh, Zealot once again. Another tank goes down. How is this a long game? I have no idea. Because we've already dealt so much damage. It's actually just unfathomable unfathomable amounts of damage. Two, three tanks have gone down already. Goliath as well. 11 kills, 12 kills now on that Reaver. And a third base is already coming up here. Still skirting around the outside. He could absolutely drop the Reaver on top of that tank. I'm surprised he didn't. In fact, going to try to fly out and does manage to fly out. I guess there's a gap in the vision here. Right there. Wow. He utilized that gap in the vision to take less damage on the shuttle. That is insane. Um, if that little tiny gap in the vision wasn't there, this uh, shuttle, I think, would have went down. That is wild to me. He keeps that alive for just a crazy amount of time. I'm going to pick up both the Reavers now and send it to the front. This is just so typical snow early game mid game is just always getting this big damage with the reavers keeping them alive for absolutely ever and getting huge huge advantages off of them 46 scvs to 51 probes oh my god he's foot clapping on him right now honestly look at how many probes this man has he's going to transfer to the third base now he's just about at that point where you can actually stop building probes another like 10 probes and he'll be uh pretty much set for the rest of this game almost you don't really want too many more than you know 65 70 probes overall and that means that it's just about gateway explosion time we've got two more gates on the way here right now double forge in the main getting all set up and ready getting comfy and cozy here in this game this is uh the comfort zone of snow. He knows exactly how to play this one out. And Tengu, he's got to be sweating right now. Of course, he is quite a good Terran player. But it's never comfortable to be behind a Protoss this far. Uh, at this point in the game, to lose that many SCV is really, really rough. You just know that whatever push you're going to have is going to be mostly overwhelmed by the Protoss player. And look at that. He gets a snipe on one of the tanks as well. It's crazy how much damage he can pull off with these Reavers. Just keeping active here in the front while adding on more Nexi. Snow is just cackling on stream here right now. Big belly laughs as each of these tanks go down to his two Reavers, which now have a total of 15 kills between the two of them continuing to just back up slowly here not gonna allow any f spare tank shots to just hit him 
I think it's really important, actually, um, as a Terran player right at this moment, to snipe this Observer. You gotta bring your Gol Goliath over, snipe the Observer, so that he can't just see you wherever your tanks are moving, and you can, you know, slide forward, set up some tanks, quickly scan, and try to get some shots off on these Reavers. I think that's the main way. See? As long as that Observer's there, he's never gonna let you hit the tank. He's never gonna let you hit the Reaver. He's just not gonna let it happen. And look at how slowly we have to leap forward. Okay, he does get one shot off. But no kills. And he's still having to leapfrog so slowly here. So slowly towards this edge. While more bases are going up, the probes are being transferred down here to the bottom left hand corner. Plenty of gateways going down now. The double upgrades are coming. He's gonna go into, I believe, we're gonna have Storm here really, really soon as well. Trying to push out with some tanks and vultures, but getting shut down right now. All the mines just get cleaned up. SCV gonna try to come down here. He's trying to take a third base now. We're at 11 minutes. 11 minute 30, actually. And this is about the latest you ever wanna take that third base. So if this gets shut down, Tengu will be just about dead in the water. He cannot allow this to get stopped. He has to get in here and get this base up and operational. He knows it. He's going to try and push forward. Another great couple of scarabs go down. He's almost going to lose the shuttle, but he keeps it alive on like 1 HP here. 7 HP total. The Dragoon's just going to slowly back out of this position. Staying out of the way of the mines here. And he will allow this base to go down, but he's delayed it pretty significantly. And he killed quite a few Goliaths and tanks and SCVs and all that in the process. Vultures have gone down as well. So he's going to be feeling pretty good about that uh, delaying tactic here. Trying to run into the main base in the bottom left. Not going to happen. The Reavers are going to clear up all the stray Vultures that were trying to get some damage done. And now it's just pure defensive mode for Tango. He really can't move out right now. He needs to power up on three bases with the 60 SCVs. Wait for another plus upgrade. He actually doesn't have it on the way. Okay, plus two is done. So that's pretty good uh, upgrade wise from our Terran player from Tango. And a plus three is on the way. So we're going to wait for this plus three, I think. Plus three is going to be the move out timing from Tengu. He's only at 100... And 20 supply right now, so he's going to take his time. Just wait. Hang hang in there for that 160, 170 supply, something like that. And then try to push across the map. And it'll be up to Snow to make sure that he's got enough stuff back at home ready for this. I love the setup here from Snow. Um, Looks pretty pretty cool. That's a lot of gateways, and they're very close to each other. Uh, he could set up another one over here. Looks like he's getting ready to do so. Some vultures down here at the bottom right. We're trying to slip vultures out on the map, but it's very hard to do it at this point. There's just so much stuff here for Snow. He's got uh, kind of an arc right out in front of the Terran Bay. He's going to drop some storms, try to push in here a little bit. Trade out just slightly. Looks like it's not going that well right now, but... I mean, any trade right now is a pretty good trade when it comes to Terran versus, uh, or Protoss versus Terran in this type of situation. As long as you're killing a few tanks, you're going to be feeling pretty good. You're slowing down that eventual push out time, making that later and later and later. And as long as you continue to grow here as Protoss, that's going to favor you long term. Ooh, that mine connection though. Yikes, that was a bad one. Now there's some open ground here. We could see... Tenku slide out this direction with his vultures. Maybe get around, you know, try to deny some of these bases that are trying to come down um, for snow right now. Looks like he's going to get that probe at least. That probe going to go down. And vultures and tanks are moving around this left-hand side. Templar in the shuttle. Looking for more storms here. Everybody moving forward. This is not the big army that you expect to actually break a push. This is just a small contingent of forces from Snow. 
that's looking to snipe whatever they can while the larger army kind of piles up here back at home more gateways are being thrown down i actually expected more gateways down here in the bottom left to be honest i'm surprised we don't see you know eight gates down there at this point but more nexuses are coming up one two and a third nexus triple expansion at the same time right now from snow he is just getting wild with the expanse uh at this point well, it looks like the observer goes down pulling all the resources together here we're at 170 and that plus three is just about to finish this is the time for tengu this is when he wants to move forward a great siege up here really really good positioning from him Needs to be super careful with how he aggresses onto this Protoss player. The storms can be devastating. Looks like we may have um, EMP. No, no EMP here. Not enough energy anyway. Hard to EMP Templar when they're in shuttles. You've kind of got to throw it down like right as they're popping out or when you expect them to be popping out. That's really the only way to shut it down. Very difficult to do. Might go for that shuttle. He does get it, and this... Oh, that was huge. He did go for the EMP. Did you see that? The EMP went off just behind the Templar, but the mine actually killed the Templar before it could get a storm anyway. So, having multiple answers to the storm here. He's going to take his fourth base. Very slow, steady play here from Tengu as he starts to move forward now. This is the big moment. Sieging up. This could be where the storms come in really handy. One storm goes down, but overwhelming numbers here from Tengu is just going to shove him out of the way in one fell swoop. Observer goes down as well. This army is looking scary. Snow going to pull everything together. This time he's going to get some great storms here. A little bit too quick was Tang Tengu moving over top of this uh, ridge line. Now, I hope that he, for his sake, doesn't... Uh, continue this push too hastily. He needs to get more reinforcements. He does move forward too quickly here. That was a little bit too crazy. And Snow dives upon the tank army immediately upon seeing it out of position there. More dragons, more zealots going to pop out here soon and start to join this army. Another great storm there on some of these advancing tanks. He's going to pick off this tank over here as well. Casting quite a few storms just to get rid of that, but it's fine. More Templar are on the way. Tanks are spreading out here, trying to pick off this uh, base that Protoss has. But, I mean, this is uh, not a really consequential base right now. We've got 70 probes, and we've got plenty of bases spread around the map. So, he's just going to transfer from here. And continue to load up more dropships, get more shuttles full of units to try and break this eventually. This is not a lot of tanks left over. And look at how low a lot of these tanks are as well. They can pop in just a matter of seconds. He's going to hit from the south now. Bringing up storms here to help eliminate these tanks. Only needs to get, you know, one zealot on top of one of these tanks. And it will just explode immediately to the friendly fire. Not quite able to break it just yet. Snow building up a larger force here before going in. Don't want to be hasty. Just like the Terran wants to slowly push in. Make sure that they don't feed into storms. You also don't want to feed into the Terran player when they're sieged up like this. Sending in too many units and losing too many Dragoons could be the death of you. So Snow doing a good job staying at the periphery here. Making sure that he's ready to answer any move forward. But that he's also uh, not too close to where he's going to be bleeding off Dragoons constantly. Here comes Tengu moving forward. A big unsiege here now. Storms are going to be dropped. He does lose the shuttle. A great snipe on that. Another storm goes down. Big storms on a lot of these tanks. But good dodges by Tengu. And the Dragoons start to bleed in a little bit. A lot of Dragoon blood on the ground here. More storms coming out. This is an epic back and forth with the storm versus the tank mech army. Just barely pushing through now. Another big storm to finish off a few of those last injured tanks. A big spread of tanks is here now from Tengu. But very few vultures, very few supporting units. 
It seems like Snow just continuing to macro out pure gateway army. It's going to have a difficult time fighting against this. Now, what is it? 3-3 three, three mech force? Yeah, 3-3 three, three here. With the D-Matrix tank out in the front. I love it. Does go down very, very quickly though. There's another nice D-Matrix on this frontal tank. Uh, negating the storm and also keeping that, that alive to just soak up more Dragoon damage. Pushing forward even further now. He's getting right on top of the natural. Um, this is getting scary for Snow, guys. Snow, he kind of stopped growing. You can see he's got all these bases down here. But he didn't take another base down here. And he hasn't taken the bottom right yet. This has been a long, drawn-out process. Slowly pushing over here to the top left. But if Snow doesn't grow... And Tengu manages to move forward and eventually take this space as well. Or this space uh, is also fine. Um, this could be ending with a snow loss. Which would be a shocker. I always kind of expect snow to win when it comes to uh, PVT. But here we go. We're losing the shuttle here. The Zealot bombs were effective, but maybe not effective enough. He's completely contained now in the top left-hand corner. And we're going to actually kill the base in the center center left now. Well, the center right's not going to be able to get taken here. Tengu cannot hold that base right now. Oh, a big push out once again. Storms being thrown down, but this is just too many tanks, man. 3-3 three, three is so strong. And the, the splitting on these tanks is perfect right now. We got such a wide spread of this mech army. It's an, almost impossible to get any value out of a uh, out of that spell. And he's trying to come in here. He thinks better of it though. That's way too many tanks. Just gonna back away. Wait for more reinforcements. He's almost maxed out, but still struggling mightily to make any progress here. Oh my goodness! Cannot even engage. At all, and we are 3 2 right now as the Protoss. He can't get close to this army. It's so scary. Still, just pure Templar, pure Zealot being pumped out here. And things are looking a little bit bleak for Snow. His last base down here in the center left is going to be taken out. But he will finally begin to secure bottom right. This is a big moment. A lot of vultures making their way out. He's going to try and go down to the bottom right. Shut down those bases. It's a real shame that Snow didn't set up pylons here. To be able to block this from happening. Oh, big mine connections. Really big mine connections there. Clearing out a lot of that. Finally, the probes are going down at the center left. We're going to drop down to just 61 probes. Still a fantastic number here for the number of bases that Snow currently has. But he is going to mine out eventually. And then these probes will be kind of on an island stuck and unable to mine efficiently anywhere. So that is a problem that Snow will need to deal with. That's coming up pretty soon here. But Tengu... He as well needs to find new areas to expand. You can see he's just about out of minerals at this uh, base. His third base. His main and natural, of course, mined out long ago. Looks like he might be able to shut down this nexus right now. But he needs to come down here and take center right. Or take this base just outside of Snow's main. Although that can be dropped in stormed very effectively by snow so it's maybe not an option here for tengu coming down trying to deal with some of these cannons before they can warp in but dragoons will be of assistance making their way down here to kind of shut down this harassment still snow moving through the middle of the map with a maxed out army tengu also maxed sending a big force southward He's going to make sure that this base comes up uh, unassailed by snow. That is that is just such a position here. What a position from Tengu. Really does need to bring some SCVs up. 
to repair some of these because a lot of those tanks are very, very low. I doubt he'll do that, though. Wow, great storms here. Tanks on the high ground are very, very clumped up. That is an insane amount of storm. How many Templar do we have? I mean, seven Templar in this army. That's crazy. Really going ham on the Templar. Actually, maybe needing some more gas at this point. He's down a little bit uh, low here on that gas overall. I don't see many shuttles coming out anymore either. Seems like we've kind of given up on that play. Realizing that there's a lot of uh, Goliaths mixed in. Although over here, there's really not that many. This base has been saved. Holy crap. 62 health left on that. 62 HP left on that Nexus. That is wild to me. And Snow is actually going to move around this army. Where are we going with this? Um, I guess he's going to try and maybe break in towards the natural. He's going to force the army to move back now from Tengu. Can he get it to run into his Templar, though? Dude, that's so many Templar. That's 11 Templar as he heads up here to 12 o'clock. He's actually going to get in the way of the retreat of these SCVs, and he should be able to kill every SCV. That is so many kills right now. Oh, my God. We're down to just 36. He was at 60. He lost almost half of his probes. However, these bases are likely to go down here as well. It's a long walk back for the Protoss army to be able to get down here to save these bases potentially. So a Reaver pops out. Oh my goodness. This is the Reaver from the very beginning of the game with 12 kills on it. It's been hanging out down at six o'clock for an age now. It is finally gonna be brought forward to try and help out. Great D Matrix there gonna deal with the Reavers coming in. Both of them get taken out and only one Dragoon is lost. DT comes forward with this whole army. Can he break through? Need to throw down some storms on the mines here. Otherwise, he will just lose everything. The mines are a real problem right now with no observer in position. There's the observer right there, but the Nexus goes down and the base has been secured. This base is still alive over here as well. It hasn't been um, saturated yet. But we're very low on SCVs, so he's got to be careful with how he's going to do that. Zealot Bomb dropped here. Only getting a couple of tanks. This next is going to go down in the bottom right as well. And maybe Tengu can hold this. Maybe he can hold the bottom right and split the map in half. That's a winning scenario for Tengu. Um, I think that Snow is actually going to break out from the natural though now. This is, this is his time. There's been a lot of forces committed down to bottom right at this point. So breaking through this area shouldn't be too difficult. He is unfortunately just hitting the science facility right now, which doesn't do him any favors uh, in this fight. The dragon's really not actually connecting with the army and now they're gonna filter in and get completely annihilated. Um, Snow, maybe not playing at his maximum efficiency here, but He's still got a pretty reasonable chance in this game if he plays this next part out properly. But sending in his army against this many tanks is not going to be the right choice. We've got science vessels here with EMP. I can't believe he's not going for the EMP on all these Templar. There's so many. I, I really feel like this is an, maybe an over commitment to Templar. That's just, that's just so many. Why do we have 10 Templar in this army? I think we've got more Templar than we have Dragoons or Zealots. Definitely more than we have Zealots, but... The Zealots are going to be joining the fight now. Going to come up from behind this. He definitely clears this now. So the natural is going to be opened up. He will be able to save... Um, this area and open up this area for more reinforcements to come out, but... The real problem now is that the bottom right has been taken here for Tengu. And the trades are looking very, very grim right now for Snow. He's just not trading out efficiently at all anymore. While Tengu is moving around the map and clearing out bases, um, forcing Snow to kind of filter into him. While, I mean, Snow is killing a base that doesn't really matter right now. He's killing that base up there. Um, 
And Tengu's just setting up mines all over the middle of the map. This is great play by our Terran player, man. This is really good play. Attacking down here to the 6 o'clock. And then just laying mines everywhere all over. Knowing that the Protoss army is going to have to come back this direction. Well, we're going to change uh, target here for Snow. He's actually going to hit the center right. And if he shuts down the center right, that's a pretty big blow to the economy of Tengu. He's moved a lot of his probes or his, his SCVs down, but all of these SCVs are going to get wiped out for sure. Oh, the EMP. My goodness. That was an EMP and a half. Um, I think we saw like five Templar get hit by that. Four, maybe. Throwing down some more storms here on the encroaching tanks. That's going to uh, trade pretty darn well, but as everything sieges up, he does need to retreat back. It's like a uh, Nexus going to go up in the top left here. All the probes being killed. Down at 6 o'clock. It's 53 probes to 30. The SCVs have been pr mostly wiped out at this point. An endangered species here. A few of them going to be transferred over to the center right to try and get some mining going. But we are very slowly gain gaining that income at this point. We don't even have enough to saturate two bases. So, I mean, this is this is a struggle right now. He even lifted one of his CCs. Maybe float this one down to bottom right. I think that might be the play because I don't think we're getting that back and nor do we really want it at this point. Uh, Vulture's going to make their way up here. He wants to shut down some more probes. Um, Templar gets killed for free. That's always a good bonus. Uh, Vultures will just bail out of this position. I like to see him utilizing the Vultures, but not wasting them not throwing them away because he is very low on minerals now uh each vulture is going to be very important uh, at this point so it's good to see tengu controlling properly here uh switching up gears uh for the late game now good dodge on that storm not eating too much damage there setting up turrets down in the bottom right as well i really i do want to see him float the cc down um, it takes a long time to get down there, but if he'd sent it a little earlier, he would have made it in time now. Counterattack coming over here by Snow. He's going to go for the jugular right now. He's going straight for the source. Try to get on top of these factories. And we'll see if he can get up on this high ground because Tengu is sending his reinforcements up onto the high ground here to make it very, very difficult for Snow to do anything. Ooh, three Templar snipes. Can he get more? Four. Um... Not going to get a fifth, but those are some great snipes on some very important units. Sniping off Templar at this point, really, really annoying for Snow to have to deal with. A big EMP comes down. Oh, man, that EMP hit a lot of this. We've only got like two Templar with actual energy left at this point. Yeah, this one and this one. That is crazy. That is a lot of damage from EMP. I think you're going to pick up into this shuttle here. Maybe go for a storm on the SCVs. No, just going to make sure that that doesn't get EMP'd. Um, Archon's going to join the mix here. Going to be good uh, soaks for the tank hits. That's pretty much their role in this uh, engagement here. Just take up as many tank shots as possible. Not going to be useful for much more than that. And we still don't have a CC down here. And we haven't floated this one. I'm really kind of shocked about that. I guess Tengu eventually going to take this base. But yeah, his economy is just not looking that hot. Finally, an Arbiter going to come in. He's going to switch up the tempo here. Change into another tech. It's definitely past time for Snow to try and find another way in here. Can't be just sticking on shuttle... You know, 30 minutes into the game. Wow, look at this. An Archon drop with a DT and a Zealot. Quite an interesting drop. This is like a, a StarCraft 2 drop. But an attack over towards the natural once again. Might actually be able to break through Tengu's defense. He's getting up in here. Uh, into the main base is another question, though. Are we actually going to be able to, to, to breach that position? Should be picking up some Zealots and actually dropping on top of there, I feel. But he's going to lose the shuttle. Zealots will get on top of all of this. 
Vulture's coming from behind, but there's now Templar on top of the high ground, which makes things very, very tough. Um, Templar gonna be throwing down their storms here and there, but it looks like he utilized most of that storm uh, to deal with that tank, and he's gonna lose this Templar, so he doesn't have storm on top of the ramp anymore, which means the goons up here in the main are not gonna be nearly as efficient as they could have otherwise been. It, Archon pops out, but it's not gonna live long. Good mining here and here. Right now for Snow. He's bought himself some time by dragging the army of Tengu way into the back of his main base. Still a great force down here in the bottom right holding off this location. Not a lot of defense over here at center right though. Maybe the forces of Snow, these reinforcements can actually get in the way of this returning army maybe they can get over here to the center right he's gonna bring forward a reaver the only the only protoss player i know who builds reaver at 36 minutes into the game and makes it work he's gonna drop zealot maybe on top okay templar storm oh my god that's a big storm down to just 22 workers another potential storm gonna come down here nice uh, D matrix there. Keeping that Goliath alive. How many more shots will it take? Actually kill the Goliath. Another D matrix. That's very clutch. Just gonna keep that alive for absolutely ever. He actually kills it. That is crazy. That's what it takes. Two D matrix on a 3-3 Goliath will eventually kill a Reaver. Um... <clears throat> Pushing forward here once again. Big arc of forces coming through the middle of the map right now. Hitting at multiple angles. Big storms going down on some of these tanks. Getting some good trades now. These are some great storms. My goodness. That's about the best trades you can hope for. Two SCVs in production and nothing else. One observer, I guess. 29 workers to 57. We've still got some minerals left at a few of these bases, but we're starting to run very, very low. The base out here at the front, hardly anything left there. It's almost time for a Nexus here at 12 o'clock, I think. It's unlikely that Tengu will be able to push that, even though it's so close to his rallies. He's really not making much right now, and most of his army is kind of committed down here to the bottom right. Maybe another attack up towards the main? I'm not sure. I haven't seen any Arbiters out yet. Not sure where they're being produced either. We did get a Fleet Beacon, but we never... Um, oh, here it is. Oh, a drop into the bottom right. I thought we were going to have an Arbiter coming in with a recall, but no. It's like this... Uh... Goliath going to be taking care of. Some more SCVs may end up going down, but the shuttle's gone, so no more you know, fancy micro here from uh, Snow to get any more value out of the Reaver. He does get another tank, though. And meanwhile, an attack over here towards the center right. Going to break through. It looks like maybe get in here on the center right. Stop that base. Shut that base down. More tanks are going to go down here. Overwhelming numbers for Snow as he crushes through. I don't know if this is enough. This is this is some damage. We're dropping down the SCV count once again. Bringing it to 36 now. He might be able to jump on top of the CC. That's a good target right at this moment. Still no base at 12 o'clock. Just yet. I think Snow's forgotten about those Zealots. They've been there for a long time. Just kind of holding position probe actually in that fight not we're not really sure where that came from the snow gonna kind of trap himself here in the center right hang out wait for reinforcements to arrive here comes zealot bombs zealot bombing on top of these tanks he unseizes the tanks in the back though which gives uh snow actually a moment to push forward but it doesn't you know force the the uh, splash damage onto that tank Wow, not too much left down here for Tengu. Um, just a few tanks on high ground. Here we go. Diving in. A lot of Dragoons. A lot of Zealots. Templar are going to be dropped here. 
Good storm. On top of some of these tanks. Does he have another storm for the SCVs? He does. SCVs getting cracked. But Dragoons splattering all over the place. We've got one more storm here. Do we have another storm in the main? Oh, that's a big storm on top of the tanks and vultures. There's so many SCVs here. Oh my god. If you had two storms, would have absolutely ravaged this SCV line. A lot of them are low on HP as well. 42 workers here for Tengu. But only 86 supply. 120 supply from Snow. Can he rally together an army big enough to take out Tengu in this bottom right? Or will he just go for the counterattack now? There's so little army here. Just two tanks going to be dropped on the... Oh, the Zealots on the high ground blocking the tanks from running up the ramp. A beautiful move. But will he be able to bust this position? We don't have any Zealots in here. We've got two Dragoons in this shuttle. It's like another tank going to go down there. It's time to take the 12. What are we doing? I mean, it's not that much money over there, but why not? Take it anyway. Even take this base if you can. You can hold that. I think it's Protoss. Every base is super necessary right now. We're almost out of money. Oh my goodness. Snow is going to run out of money here. It's really, really close right now, guys. Just barely able to scrape together a hundred supply is Tengu. This shuttle could be the big game changer here. He's coming in. For the big storms, where are the Templar? There they are, but not getting the storms he was looking for. Only a few kills on those. And most of the SCVs do manage to escape. Dragoons here in the middle, clearing out mines, clearing out any stragglers and buildings that might be left behind by Tengu's forces. We got to start looking for last bits of mining here on the map. Still 57 probes for snow. He needs another location to try and set up. Oh, he was thinking about long distance mining here at the top center, but thinks better of it as he sees the, the vultures moving through the map. And now going to try and break down here into the bottom right. This is the last hurrah here of snow bringing forward the reaver. Reaver here on the high ground. The D matrix is huge, slowing down everything. But it looks like Snow can actually break this. There wasn't that many tanks left over. There are some reinforcements coming, but it's not a lot. And just 100 supply remains here for our Terran. And all the SCVs are getting picked off down to just 11 SCVs. Is this it? Is this the breaking moment here for Tengu? It seems like he doesn't have anything left. Snow really doesn't have anything left. He's got 12 minerals left to mine. 12. Four vultures and two SCVs start into production. He's going to try and take this base over here while trapping the army of Snow in the bottom right. Did we ever make that Arbiter? I don't think it was ever produced. So I think that... Um, Snow is not going to be able to, like, recall the army out of this position. Good D-Matrix here. Keeping that tank alive for an inordinate amount of time. But eventually, these zealots should come down. This is a great trade, really, from Tengu. This is about the best you could hope for with just two tanks. And this many zealots and, and the dragoons. This is a really great trade from him. Picking off a lot of these forces. Zealots running through the middle of the map. The vultures will trade fantastically with those. It's going to come up immediately. Oh, no, the storm. Oh, man. Tengu throwing away like a maybe 12 vultures when he's only got 60 supply. That was a big mistake from him. You can just kind of kite around and kill everything. You could kill all the Templar, all the uh, Zealots here without too much trouble. There's barely any mining left. 20 minerals at some of these bases he is mining here at the center right snow sees it he knows that he is in a bind right now it's very important that he breaks out and it's truly now or never here we go he moves forward but not able to get through this too many tanks too many goliaths here ready to fight back 
There's a small contingent of Zealot and Archon moving over here uh, on the center left. There's a few Dragoons squeezing out of these gateways at the very end of the day. But there's nothing left in the bank here for Snow. He's got nothing. He's going to have to save these Zealots. It's very important that he keeps those alive right now. Just as CVs are being produced by Tengu. He's way below in supply. Well, not way below anymore, but... Oh, these tanks are going to come down. Can he actually shut down the mining? I don't think the tank has realized that uh, Snow can slip by here. He does siege up in time. And maybe can just fight this army. He's going to hit fight from both sides. Here we go. The big zoom out. Final battle here in this game. Can he actually break through? No. GG is called Tengu. Takes this game away. Snow. His feet fall silent. The clamps no longer ringing across Vermeer here. It's just a GG, and he gets out of this game. Absolutely ridiculous Terran versus Protoss. I haven't seen one like that for quite a long time, but that's Vermeer for you guys. Vermeer, a fantastic uh, macro map. Plenty of opportunities, plenty of bases. We almost saw a mine-out situation here, guys. Very, very close. At least Protoss' side of the map was completely mined out. Not able to get any more money from these few last locations. And Tangu just barely scrapes by with a win. But just barely. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.